The, the basic bare bones of the story is very Adam and Eve in a way. There isn't a person in the world who knows you more intimately than I do. Nimani is the android and she, in a very Pinocchio-like way, becomes a real girl. So it addresses in the plot some questions that are very topical, what with artificial intelligence being explored and looking like it may happen within our lifetime. From, from Nimani's perspective, Malutin is a little bit of a lost man who causes some major trouble and then can't deal with the ramifications of it. But none of those androids were set free. No one asked those androids what they really wanted. You were the first one. All you did was mess with my programming and delete my most important software. You did not set me free. Like, we, we talk about, in the U.S., it's been circulating since, I believe, the 70s. The personal is political. The political also has to be personal. So it's quite possible that plenty of women will watch the film, feel like it is feminist or whatever, if it doesn't connect to them personally and cause change then it's, it's entertainment. It's wonderful entertainment, but it's just entertainment. If I'm so menacing, why don't you shut me down? Making the movie unfortunately brought up things from my personal life that I really wasn't prepared to be dealing with, and especially it would have been much easier to make the movie if I wasn't dealing with those things at the time. There's a very unfortunate side effect of the way that masculinity happens in the West, where men, for whatever reason, their instinct when they want some connection is to use force. So, from one viewpoint, Nimani is just a woman. She's expected to be the nurse. She's expected to be the psychologist. She's expected to be the fuck toy. She's expected to make sure that Malutin eats properly and he's a giant baby about it. It's like, what it really boils down to is a man and a woman, and because it's science fiction, she's an android, but it's the same, it's the same expectations that happen in life. Imani is our cyborg. Her performance is adjustable. You can create your own customized program of behavior. Unlike real women, she won't hurt you. I have to hold out some hope that, yes, people will see the movie and think and walk away with something interesting to chew on that maybe points them in a more nuanced direction. Otherwise, I just want to like collapse on the floor and be like, leave me here until I waste away and die, which is very dramatic, but also the truth. <laughs>